my sister asked for a restraining order and the judge denied it. Now her sister lays dead. It was truly heartbreaking to see her two sons blow out the candles at their mother's funeral. The sister of a woman murdered over the weekend says she was denied an order of protection against her husband, and now she's dead. Her husband in jail, charged with her murder. ABC 15's Tanya Brown was at that bond hearing today. Jennifer, court records show the judge denied it for, quote, failure to prove facts of alleged abuse. Now, the judge also advised Taylor and her husband in his ruling on what else they needed to do. You're looking at copies of the order of protection requested by 29-year-old Taylor McFadden Robinson filed against her husband, Duncan Robinson Jr. Police say Robinson killed his wife of seven years Sunday morning at her home in Florence. Her family is just devastated. To say that her life was cut short in this matter, something I can never get over my family. I poured over the thick file of records in family court where I found Taylor's order of protection that she filed for last March. An emergency hearing took place within 24 hours. The order details what Taylor says led her to ask for protection against her husband. A paragraph in the order says, quote, on this day, March 23, 2021, Duncan came over to my home demanding the kids. He followed me after repeatedly being told to leave the Premises. I called the police on March 21st. Duncan came to drop the kids off. He blocked my car in and entered my home without permission. On March 12th, Duncan broke my back door after kicking in repeatedly to attempt to enter my home. She said on March 9th, he tried to fight the contractor on her property and on March 15th, tried to run her over with his car. The judge wrote in its notes that, quote, parties were advised to get attorneys and file divorce action. Differences appear to be over children. Those who work within the court system say you have to prove to a judge that you're in fear of your life to be granted an order of protection. Taylor's sister shared her frustration during Robinson's bond hearing Monday about the denial of the protection order. The system has failed us. My sister asked for a restraining order and the judge denied it. Court records show the couple had a final divorce hearing set for next month right here at the Florence County Judicial Center. A judge has denied bond for Robinson. He remains in jail. I'm Taylor, a licensed realtor. I'm here to inform you of the steps to secure a beautiful home and such. Taylor Robinson, a married woman and mother of two, was found dead in her Florence, South Carolina home. Taylor was a very successful entrepreneur and realtor, voted one of the top five realtors in her area. As well as her own real estate company, Taylor McFadden also owned a move-in company and a nail salon. She was truly a self-made woman with no college training. Taylor McFadden was earning six figures a year and now she's gone. The community gathered together in a vigil to honor her passing.
Jennifer, many people think an order of protection is the same as a restraining order, but there's a difference. I went to Hope Hanna with the PD Coalition Against Domestic Violence to learn more about an order of protection. They see women who come in all the time wanting one. It involves people in a more close or intimate relationship, such as a husband and wife or a couple with children together. Fear. There has to be a threat. Um, there has to be something that states to the courts or from you that shows that you're in need of protection. Following Taylor's death, there was a statement released from the judge's office and it read, please note that from the transcript, you can see the judge was very considerate and patient with both sides. The transcript reflects that Ms. Robinson McFadden said twice that Mr. Robinson was a great father and she wanted him to have a relationship with his children, but just wanted the court to set time certain for his visitation. She did not want him to come around unannounced. She did not say she was afraid of him. Robinson has been indicted in his wife's murder, but a trial date has not been set. Oh!